Ring, ring, ring. Well, ring, phone, ring, phone, ring, 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 phone, ring, a phone, 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 a phone, ring. Is this important? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. As I mumbled at. To no one in particular, I picked up a phone. Hello, Yoshino residents. Ah, uh, Anzu? Yeah, did you want to talk to Sakura san? Oh? I wonder what was up. If you wanted me, couldn't you have just called myself? Huh? Uh, oh, right, I forgot. I wanted to sleep until noon or so, so I turned my phone off last night. A oh, random thing that happened to me a while back it was like, when I went to guitar lessons, well, guitar lesson. It's like my dad had like a call he had to have because he his job and all that. He's a carer and all that. And like I had to wait in the car for like maybe 30, 40 minutes. It was like I think maybe 6 or 7 p.m. or something like that. And it gets dark really early and it's pretty damn windy. So I'm sat there in the car uh, holding my guitar, whistling wind, lights. Street light going on and off occasionally, this creepy whistling wind, and I'm just in there playing guitar. It's like, ah oh, man, this is just. Is my phone charged? I like had my phone pulled out. I was like, ah oh, fuck, it's not, it's not charged. It's like shit. So I just played guitar for like 40 minutes or so in the car, just waiting. It's like, oh. And like the car was like, the wind was actually shaking the car a little bit every now and then. It's like, this is not pleasant at all. Was I that predictable? <laughs> Sorry, so what did you want to ask me? Hey, hey, who told you that? Not really, I'm free, but... I just wanted to sleep, but it seemed like it wasn't going to get off easy today. Well, why? If you just tell me why... Hey! Click beep 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 beep. She hung up. What's going on? I really have no idea. Apparently, I was, it was already 11 o'clock. Oh, well, whatever, I'll just go there. I stretched my body and went back to my room to change clothes. Akane happily raised her hand in agreement. If I was there, I'd probably be like, five, five, five. In the morning or evening? It's like, j you can't... Well, actually, that is a good point. Maybe they mean five in the morning, which I think they actually do mean, actually. Or it could be five in the evening. Be a bit more specific. And because it looked satisfied and nodded. Hey, I slowly raised my hand. I apologize for the abrupt question, but what exactly are you guys talking about, anyway? That's not it, I just like to hear all of it from the start. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Or what? What? I stood up almost knocking my chair over. Whose manners are at fault here? Say that one more time. Who's going where and when?
まあ硬いことはいい子なし今の私は機嫌いいんだもんね And this we are talking about exactly who does that include? Quiet up, Mikhazi, I'm talking to Akane right now. You know, off subject, but this visual novel has some absolutely fantastic glare faces, I gotta say. That is all. Just answer the question. Why am I included? What? When did I agree to something like that? I have no recollection of that. Well, we do. I mean, it wasn't really all that long ago, was it? But I'm not sure. Did he never really agreed to it? He just kind of listened in and just like, oh, that'd be nice to go on, wouldn't it? Yeah, I couldn't honestly deny it, especially not when Anzu was on their side with her incredible memory. But I can't really afford to... Even if it's cheap, I still need enough money to... I leaned over towards Anzu, who was sitting next to me. Don't bite me! <laughs> you know, it would, like, bite his ear and just like... Hum. What if she grabbed his ear like that and twisted it? Like, Ow, shit! That's like... The bite is just like, oh, pervy, but if it was like that, it's like, that'd be like the, that'd be the equivalent of just like, I'm here to say, I'm here to say, slap her in the face, just like, now fucking shut up and listen. <laughs> Why do you have it as whisper, whisper, whisper if you're whispering into his ear? Having hands of whisper in my ear felt really ticklish. Huh? Is it that cheap? What? I didn't get to read all that because I actually skipped it. Anzu had a cool smile on her face. Well, I couldn't afford it, but I was going to buy a bunch of stuff during winter break. Well, I guess so. Not really, but... Uh, I was balancing so many options in my heart. Again, she says free, but there's like, in total there are, I think, actually, aren't all of the girls going though? So that'd be like five, right? You got Mikaze, you got Koko, you got Anaka, you've got Akane, and you've got Anzu. Five. So... Who are the two that are excluded from that there, Akane? Akane grabbed my hand as she said that. 
Isn't this what they call tempting someone? At least that thought crossed my mind. Anyway, I'll just have to get my white flag out. All right, I got it. I'll go. It'd be funny if he actually did physically take out a white flag. It's like, yeah, I keep them on me at all times, just in case I need to surrender or something. That would be where my Karasumi would go skiing then, would it? <sighs> but thinking I let out a sigh. Oh my god, have you ever gone skiing before? So it's kind of like skateboarding in an odd way. It's just like, kind of like a skateboarder, just like, oh, that's just transporting, like a way of transportation, right? No, it's more to it than that. It's like, I mean, like, if you're just like in a car and like, just driving around like that, it's just like, uh, but if you're on a skateboard, it's like, yeah, yeah. Feel the wind, wee, and all that shit. And if you're actually good with a skateboard, doing tricks with you, well, actually, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck! Ah oh, fuck! God damn my knee! Fuck! 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 And then you get back on the skateboard anyway. <laughs> That's up to you, really. Looking at Amikaze's angry face, I suddenly thought about what man you may. I wonder if they'll be angry when I told them that I'm going on a ski trip. Well, they were certainly probably more angry with the last time because I literally put the LP on hold for a month once we actually got around to tell them about it and it was like, okay, let's go shopping instead. I'm pretty sure they will. I'll let out yet another sigh. We had just finished having dinner and we were sitting under the kotatsu while watching TV. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. No, I really do, but... You may doubtfully observe my face. It's just that you kept saying that every day. Keep saying that every day. Satsumas, uh, aren't those those small kind of orange... They're not oranges, the smaller ones, the ones where you just like, you can peel it off and you're just like, mm, mm, nice. While oranges are more like, ah, oh, fuck, shit, shit, peel, 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 god damn, this thing takes forever to peel. What I usually do with oranges is, I peel off one side and just start eating it as it is, just like, screw it, I'm not peeling the whole thing off. And the annoying bit, difference between the two besides peeling them is, the Satsuma is just like, you can eat it, it's like, mmm. And then you pick up another one, and you're just like, mmm. With an orange, you don't do that. You eat one orange, and that's it. Not because it's big or anything, but because it's so messy, you take one bite out of it, and pfft. I remember this one time I just was like, you know what, it's great. Just gonna shove it in my mouth and back, and it dripped everywhere. It's like, Jesus Christ. But they just smiled. <laughs> She smiled as she said that. I guess so. Who knows? So, 
Hey now, you said that every single year and then you just go, what a pain in the neck. You may put her index finger on her lip, but she fought hard about it. Alright, she should be asking Otne about it soon. I <laughs> feel like a scene he's seen so many times, just like, and then she'll do this and that. Every year, it's kind of like, I can kind of relate to that. If you ever like New Year's when someone like says something like, You know, in the New Year, I'm going on a diet. And they do. And it lasts a few weeks, they have some success, but then they end up putting weight on again anyway. It's like, ah, oh, shit. And then it comes to the ne ex New Year's, it's just like, oh, I'm going on a diet. It's like, that's what you said last year. And the year before that. And the year before that. And the year before that. And probably the year before that. New Year's, huh? I really need to tell them that I'm going on a ski trip. Hey, you two. I'm sorry, but I can't go. That's not it, it's... Uh, it's that I've actually made our plans. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, we're not going to the festival. Yeah, we're going to Mount Everest, you see. We're going to go skiing. Well, not on Mount Everest, because that would be freaking... You'd have to be out of your mind to do that. And Actually, I think there have been people that have skied on Mount Everest. I'm not sure, though. But seriously, that's a death trap, is it not? That's not it. We're going on a trip. Yep, a ski trip, to be precise. I told him the entire story. <laughs> Yume fiercely voiced her objection against my ski trip. Even though she said that, I could see a vein popping up in her forehead. Well, they could have at least shown a like small anger vein then. It's just the way she's like. Yeah, there, there, or something like that made it seem like you made a dog. He's like, no, no, calm down. Sit, sit. That's because he only just knew about it. I didn't just tell you, though. Would you like to go instead of me, then? Then what do you want me to do? Mm. You may turn her face away from me. So she can't consent to me going on a trip, but there's nothing else in particular she wants me to do. Hatane yeah, smiled as she talked to me. Rather, her face was smiling, but her eyes weren't, and that vein on her forehead was still pulsating. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Her face was smiling, but her eyes weren't. How do I smile? What? Thinking about it, the three of us always used to spend New Year's together. Of course they'd be upset. I wonder what kind of terrible condition she had for me. I held my breath. Huh? Shopping? Do you forgive me for the last time though, Otome? Because remember that, I was like, after that, it's like, okay, they're going shopping in a month's time. Ha 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 ha! Because of the October LBs. But this time, we're gonna skip that entirely, pretty much. Shopping, you say? That was a pretty boring condition she had. I really thought I would be something worse with me just suddenly saying that I'm going on a trip. If they'd forgive me with just that much... I've got it, I'll carry all your bags! Didn't they say that though?
Well, he didn't suddenly decide, he was suddenly invited and he's just like, You're not gonna back out of it now, are you? He's just like, Oh, come on! You just tell me about this suddenly and I don't get a choice in the matter! Yeah. I'm sorry, you may. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's definitely angry. You didn't give us the full on glare, though, yet. Yep, see you tomorrow. Zoom. When I returned to the living room, Sakura Sun was there. Uh, Sugar Sun. Yeah, it ended up working out like that somehow. Sugar mm. Sun nodded and then looked carefully at me. Uh, is something wrong? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the pen thing that comes to New Year for me is having the montage kind of of the year kind of video I do. Just like such a pen ass. And this year, I've got to do that pretty much the same thing, but I want to do a bit more of it. Like, usually it's just a keyboard. This time I want to see if I can add in some guitar as well. Maybe the acoustic and electric as well. And maybe add in a little bit of vocals or something. Maybe like either sang vocals or maybe just like some worded kind of uh, vocals that are just talking very much. I don't know. Just be like at the end of it and then it just be like the year ends as another year begins or something like that and then like kind of like fades out or something like that, you know? And you know what? Thinking back on the year, it just made me realize I was still out playing Final Fantasy VIII earlier this year. It feels like it was freaking longer than that, but it was only this year. I'm just like, wow. It's not. Oh, like I like. I think it was early this year that I'd finished it off. I think. And then there was. I can't really remember. I'll have to go back through my videos because it felt like the same LPs the whole year because they've been dragging on for so long. But there are ones that kind of like were there throughout the earlier parts of the year that I'd completely forgot were this year because, you know, Persona 4, Pokemon Emerald, The Sims 2 kind of just like makes me forget about the other ones that I did this year. Sagar Sun smiled as she patted me on the shoulder and then she went off towards her room. I know that we did shuffle this year though, but that felt like a long time ago as well. What was that about? The 30th of yeah. December. Sorry, uh, you may, but. Skip the shopping. Okay, who should we call? Let's call Anzu. Okay, I guess I'll call Anzu. Come to think of it, she's a very reliable person, and I'm sure it'll be pretty useful to have her around while shopping. Right when I was about to dial her number, the phone suddenly rang. Whoa! Looking at the LCD, it spread up to Schema Coco. Hello? What do you want? Come on, just tell me already. Nope, I was going to go shopping for stuff just now. But you called me right when I was going to ask Anzu to go shopping with me. Huh? Any what?
Oh, really? Even I have ski wear. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, so that's it. If you don't have any, just rent some. Didn't you say it was pretty cheap? Okay, I can see what you're trying to tell me, but... Um, and? I'm not going to say that. Well, fine. I guess I'll be going shopping with Coco instead of Anzu then. What do you mean, instead of Anzu? It seems like you're going shopping with both of them. Huh? This is Anzu with you. No, not really. Did he not pick up on the signals there when she's like, Her and Anzu don't have ski wear? Kinda indicates you'll be shopping with both of them. Did he not realize? Gotcha. I then put my phone back in my pocket and headed for the shopping district. It's like, oh, I don't want to go shopping with Coco, but I'll go shopping with Anzu. What's the deal with that? Still tired after my first visit to the shopping district, I finally managed to meet up with Anzu and Coco. Yes, I are two days in a row, man. Any, why are you stumbling? What? What do you mean, anyway? Why are you stumbling? Sorry, today's been pretty hard on me. That's not it. I don't have a cold or anything. I just had to work hard to make up for something. Goku nodded, but I didn't really think she got it. Anzu pretty much got it right on her first guess, and then she gave me a light push. First off, we decided to go to a clothing store to find some ski wear for Anzu and Coco. I already had most of the necessary stuff for skiing, so I figured it just, I'd just rent the rest of the equipment when we got there. I just wanted to buy some necessities for the trip, but I guess I'll have to take a detour. <laughs> The store wasn't that big, but the selection of ski wear was pretty nice. The selection available covered the entire range from flashy to extravagant. Flashy? Shouldn't you be worrying about if it's comfortable to go skiing in? That's the thing that baffles me about rigging fashion. It's like, oh, it looks nice. Yeah, is it comfortable wear? It doesn't matter as long as it looks cute. It's like you got people, like women that just like have shoes, very painful shoes. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, fuck it out, my ankles. Fuck it out. Take off the shoes. Just like, why do you wear them? Cause they look nice, but it hurts your ankles. Yeah, but they look nice. I'll never understand the obsession with shoes, I just don't get it. I look at shoes and just like, yeah, you put them on your feet and wear them. That's it. It's like, but, but, they have to look nice. No, just have comfortable shoes and deal with it. It's like, you have no sense of fashion whatsoever, do you? Nope, and I couldn't give a fuck. Well, I guess you might want to consider looks as well, but if everyone did that, it'd end up just being the norm instead of being flashy. You'd have the flashiest ski resort ever.
Coco put her finger to her forehead and looked like she was thinking about it pretty hard. That's right. Anzu asked me that as she looked around for something suitable. Let's see. I looked around the store trying to find someone that might suit Anzu. I wonder if this would look good on her. I picked out a set that I liked and showed it to Anzu. I think you'd look good in these. Anzu seemed to like the set I had picked and reached out to grab it. Coco suddenly ran up to us and slapped Anzu's hand away. What is it now? <laughs> oh, Coco, are you one of those? It's like, no! 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 You must spend an hour in the store going for various clothes before deciding on what you want to buy. Sometimes leaving the store out buying anything, sometimes leaving the store with the very first item you picked, and sometimes somewhere between. It must take time. You must think these things through. Don't just pick up something and buy it. You must first try them out. Examine the various different clothes around you. Try to see. Think. Think which one do you think would be best suited. But don't just do that. You have to think deeply for a long time, an hour to be exact. And then, only then, can you purchase an item and leave. You got it? Coco shook her head in disappointment. Seriously. I just never understand that. Well, she certainly had a point. Should we look around a bit more then? I looked at Anzu as I asked that. Well, if they were, that'd be a bit of a pain. Just let us try on various different clothes. But we haven't got time! Gogo started smiling broadly again. When Anzu saw that, she turned towards me and smiled. I guess Anzu also likes to have her shopping over and done with fast. Man, I have another thing in common with you then, do I? It's like... Just when it comes to shopping, just get it done. Just don't waste like a shit ton of time needlessly. Just freaking find what you need and be done with it. Don't like just like browse and browse endlessly. It's, it's the equivalent of when you like... When you click on an article or whatever on, uh, was it TV Tropes? And then you see the links leading to other ones, and then you spend the whole damn evening or the entire day even going through the various ones, clicking on various links to other ones, clicking on like the examples and all that. It's like, God damn it, it's so addictive! Oh well, we'll just have to humor Coco for a bit. I looked around the store for other sets of ski wear that might look good on the other of them. Hmm? I picked up a set that caught my eye. This one might look good on Coco. I called out to Coco to tell her about it. Coco! Hi, hi. I think this set would suit you. What do you think? I held it up and showed it to her. Coco snatched the set I was holding right out of my hands. I was expecting the complete opposite reaction. It's like, you what? Just like that kind of reaction. It's like, what? I thought it looked good on you. You thought it would look good on me? I've never been so insulted in all my life. Yeah. <sighs> Just kind of contradicted that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was your line. Why did it appear twice? Coco sounded like she just wanted to disappear. Seeing her act like that, Anzu and I burst out laughing. Ha 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 ha. 
Mm, that should just about do it. I looked over the things I had bought once more. Sexy underwear. Say what? We going back to shuffle territory here or what? What? Really? Anzu such a troll. Coco sighed deeply. I was pretty sure Anzu only teased her because it was so easy to get a reaction. Don't forget to go through your list one last time, otherwise you'll just keep worrying about how you might have forgotten something. I was about to say that even I was even I wasn't that bad, but then I reconsidered. Anzu reaffirmed me. Since her memory was so amazing, there wasn't any way she'd have been wrong. I nodded in agreement. Don't worry, you're meeting up outside my house anyway. We'll throw stones at your window. Yeah, so don't be late. What about you, Anzu? Anzu had a refreshing look on her face. Anzu and Coco Puff left carrying the skiwear that I had picked out for them. Tomorrow's going to be fun, huh? Mmm, I just had to go back finish my last minute preparation for the trip and went to lie down on my bed with a weird voice. I kept thinking about the trip itself. Now that I think about it, it had been a really long time since I last left Hudson Island. I remember to go on a Shut up with that stupid voice. I always do that. I don't know why. Going on a trip with Junichi-san and Sakura-san long ago, but... It was Junichi-san who taught me how to ski too. We've never seen him, but maybe we will eventually. Huh? Yoshiaki-kun, Ah, it's Sakura-san. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Nope, I was still awake. I was thinking about some stuff. Sakura san had a mischievous little smile on her face as she said that. This game also, well, visual novel, also has some amusing mischievous faces as well. As well as the glaring faces. Yeah, is that so weird? So, what do you want? What's that? As she said that, Sagar san reached into her pocket. As she opened her right hand, I could see that she was holding a necklace. It was a necklace with a tiny pink gem attached to it. A pink sapphire or something. Really? What am I supposed to do with this thing? A lucky charm? It was pretty rare for Sakura-san to suddenly give me stuff like this. Huh? I need to keep it on for the entire trip? Yes. I thought I was 
一緒についてってあげられないから。Come on, what are you? いいから、初め島から出たら、決して外しちゃダメだよ。The necklace obviously has a lot more importance than we think, probably, isn't it? Ah, so that's how it is. I seldom remembered about it. Every time I had left the island, Sakura-san had always been with me. I guess it's because、uh, she takes her role as my guardian so seriously, even though she's rarely ever home. <laughs> Don't worry, Sakura-san. Not a kid anymore. I'll be fine without a lucky job. s a k u r a s a n looks really serious. Not even when I take a bath? So, it's a panel to Kimo. You no, know, I also have a necklace that I wear all the time. It's actually a St. Christopher. I actually got it for Christmas a couple of years back, and for some reason, I've like, I put it on, and I've like, rarely taken it off. Mainly because it's a pain in the ass to do so and a pain in the ass to put it back on. So I'm always pretty much wearing it pretty much constantly. And it's to me, it's just like kind of looking at it like a kind of lucky charm kind of way as well, I suppose. It's like, I don't know. It's kind of odd. But why? s a g a r a s a n s eyes went blank for just a moment. She looked so sad. I felt that I really don't want to make her sad. Okay, I got it. I won't ask why, and I'll definitely never take it off. Does that sound okay? s a g r a s a n nodded slightly. Should we pinky swear on it? Come on, that's why I'm sure, I'm sure to not forget about it. We entwined our pinky fingers to seal the promise. The piggy swear made the person who doesn't keep the promise swallow a thousand needles. There, it's a piggy swear. s a k u r a s a n then shook her arm back and forth until she managed to shake off my piggy finger. Hey, don't be so rough. She wore a big, innocent smile, showing no sign of how old she supposedly was. She really was just like a little kid. Yeah, I won't forget it. <laughs> I told you, I'm not a kid anymore. I said that. So I'll be careful. And I did that. Zagra <laughs> son, would you like a souvenir or something? Yeah. That's a pretty bizarre name there. Simple? Yes. So, pretty much buy the weirdest object in the store. Preferably candy. I don't really understand, but okay. Alright. Sagra s a n then waved at me as she left the room. Hmm. I lay down again and started inspecting the necklace. Honestly, I wonder why Sagra s a n would give me something like this. Just looking at it made me feel all warm inside. I've got to keep my promise. I guess it might be really bad for me if I forget. I immediately put the necklace around my neck. I don't typically wear things like this, but it doesn't feel weird or anything. Let's have a look in the mirror. I got up and checked myself out. Hmm, hmm. Pink is a pretty girly color, but other than that, it looked pretty good. This thing isn't bad at all. After putting it on, I felt like a hint of kindness was emanating from it. Then I looked at the time, and it was already 11 p.m. Yeah, this is bad. I've got to get up really early tomorrow. Since we're meeting up at 5, I've got to get up around half past 4. Half past four? It's four in the morning as I'm recording this now! I'm not sure if I'll be able to, if I'll get any decent sleep, but I might as well try. 
it's always in that it, with me if I just like ah, at least get a decent amount of sleep for like a li little bit surely and then I spend the whole night awake trying to sleep They're like ah fuck I got into bed and pulled the blanket over me well even if I oversleep a little we're meeting up right outside my house uh, someone will probably wake me up <sighs> while thinking about the trip I slowly drift off to sleep Slowly, my ass, you seem to freaking fall asleep instantly. Hmm. For some unknown reason, I suddenly awoke from my slumber. I turned on the light and looked at the alarm clock. 4.26, huh? Hmm. It's not quite that time yet. It's... 11 minutes. So... Whatever, it doesn't matter. I had woken up a few minutes earlier than I set the alarm clock for. Maybe I woke up early because I was all excited about the trip or something. What am I, some little kid? Oh well, since I've already awakened, there's really no point in going back to sleep. I might as well grab some of eat. I stretched my body really well and got out of bed. You're gonna get out of bed next time. So see you next time, viewers. See you next time.